Our Washington correspondent Garnet Chichikan has been asking the State Department to clarify the different approaches to Mosul and Aleppo. She has more on the story. They're looking at it from the perspective that uh, it will also save many civilians from the rule of ISIL. Uh, Josh Ernest of the White House uh, said this, well, as you heard, the idea that somehow the Iraqi security forces should delay this operation because of their concern about the humanitarian situation in Mosul, that doesn't make sense, end quote. Now, in eastern Aleppo of Syria, you have al-Nusra, which is al-Qaeda, and the U.S. has a very different view of what Russian and Syrian forces are doing there as they're trying to drive the militants out of eastern Aleppo. The U.S. view for eastern Aleppo, as I understand it, is that going after terrorists there is not worth the suffering of civilians. Why the difference in U.S. reaction or approach? With respect to Mosul, um, as with Aleppo, there's an urgency to the situation on the ground there, a military operation the size and scale and scope of uh, the effort to uh, liberate Mosul um, requires a, a good deal of prudent planning uh, to make sure it's a success. And one of the aspects of that, and I talked at length about it yesterday, so I don't want to necessarily go over it again, is uh, how do we deal with and how do we prepare ourselves to deal with uh, the inevitable uh, humanitarian um, effects of this operation. The UN and Red Cross are pre preparing for hundreds of thousands of civilians to flee Mosul. Uh, one of the things uh, Stephen O'Brien, the UN Under Secretary for Humanitarian Affairs, said was this. He said, tens of thousands of Iraqi girls, boys, women and men may be under siege or held as human shields. That is about Mosul. This is something that seems to be the reality for eastern Aleppo at this time. Stefan de Mistura said that al-Nusra fighters are deciding the destiny of 270,000 civilians there. We've also seen reports of fighters trying to prevent people from fleeing eastern Aleppo. When I asked, uh, take a listen to this. The U.S. government wants Russia and Syria to stop operations in eastern Aleppo because of the humanitarian catastrophe there. Where is that line in civilian suffering in Mosul where you would say uh, it, uh, you need to stop operations? Okay. Is there I mean, I, I, I see you're trying to conflate the two. Um, uh, look, I mean, first of all, we're working in a supporting capacity, uh, supportive capacity. Um, uh, it's the Iraqi government and its Iraqi security forces that are carrying out the operation uh, in Mosul. Uh, and that is to go after and destroy uh, Daesh, drive it out of Mosul. It's been very successful in doing so uh, throughout the uh, other regions of the country and cities in the country. Um, frankly, we haven't seen that in, uh, with respect to uh, Syria. Uh, when I asked about the line that the U.S. would not want to cross, uh, the State Department spokesman avoided answering the question by sort of diminishing the U.S.'s role in the operations to retake Mosul even though the U.S. military had been preparing these operations for many months.